Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be upgrading the CPU cooler. Now, at the moment, I'm running the pretty much stock AMD cooler that sits right on the CPU chip. And this one's like a big radiator with the uh, coolant lines in it. So we're going to see if this performs better than that. Obviously, I'm hoping it does, but we're going to find out how well. And while I'm at it, I'm actually going to move my GPU up to the next slot just so they can have more airflow. And we're just going to see in this video Doing these couple of things, are they going to call it and are we going to get better performance because of it? So I'm going to do benchmarks before and after and we're going to see how, uh, how much better performance we get. That's a, that's a paddling pool <laughs> and I don't know what that is. This is not what I wanted. I think this is the one I wanted. Yeah, this looks a bit better. There we go. So this is what we're going with. Um, let's unbox it and see what it looks like. So, two fans. This is quite big. And this has got a fit in there. So hopefully this fits well. Get some stuff. Yeah, we'll get to that in a minute. Okay, so first thing I want to do, take all this off. So we can get to the top two fans, which we're going to have to take out. And then install the radio and the fans. And I'm hoping... It all fits nice and neatly. All right, so I've got the top two fans out. They're now out of the way. What I'm going to do is get all the radiator and stuff and try and see where it fits nicely because obviously the RAM sticks out a fair bit. So I need to sort of make sure it all fits nice and snug. And then obviously I need to take the CPU fan out, which they're nice and easy to get out. Okay, so I've got the old CPU crawler out, which is here. And the new one, I had to put these different brackets in. And this is honestly the hardest part because there's a plate that comes behind that you bolt into. And then you've got to do this as well. So you've got to kind of do two things with one hand. But anyway, fiddled about with that, got that in. Now I can actually put the cooler on. All right, so the cooler is in and the CPU is mounted. These little screws are a bit fiddly again to put on, but they're on. It's okay now. I just need to plug in the cables around the back, but... I've got the two calling fans to go in as well. Oh, but I'm going to have them up there, blowing air outwards. And I think that the labels, the air blows that way. It did with the old fans, so I hope it does the same with these. So I'm going to mount them, blowing the air out the top, because the ones on the side blow in, and then the hot air is getting sucked and blown out on the top. Well, that's the idea anyway. So I'm going to get them in next, and then get all the wiring and all that stuff wired up. Slight change of plan. I can't put the second fan up there because my RAM sticks too far this way and the fan would like stick out, it's like here. So I've had to put it on the side. Now in an ideal world it would all be in a bigger case but with my desk I just don't have the room. So I put the fan on here with the air blowing outwards so hopefully cool air goes in up and out and out that side. So. Hopefully that'll be enough to keep it cool. Um, my only other option is maybe to get slightly smaller fun to fit up there, blowing air out the top, which I might look into uh, after I finish this little build. But all I've got to do next is move this GPU up into this next slot here. This is the new look, the GPU high. And hopefully all this extra space, the airflow will be a lot better and it'll keep it a lot cooler. And the CPU is done. Save the best bit till last. All I need to do now is sort out all the wire stuff in the back, but I'll save you guys the boredom of that and I'll sort that and then get this thing turned on and see how it performs. All right, so we are up and running and this thing looks so cool. I didn't realise, but there was like a wire behind the back that was just unplugged and I thought, hmm, I wonder what this is for. Plugged it in and I'm guessing it's this because that did not work before. So that's another thing I'm happy about and sorted. And yeah, the cooler's 
it's all on and done but what i'm going to do is i'm going to try and find some sort of like half radiator to go on there so it's out of the way of the ram but it still fits on there because i feel like i'm not utilizing all of the cooler so i'm going to have a research and get a, uh, a fan for that so i can have that for more cooling so i'm going to do a couple of benchmarks now and test it and see how well it performs all right guys so here's the benchmark results on the left box is the results before the cooler was installed with a score of 24,530 with a average fps of 183 and now with the cpu cooler and the gpu getting moved up with all that added airflow the score was 25,839 which is a significant increase and an average fps of 10 more so for just those little bits that is quite a big game now we're going to be moving on to some gameplay this gameplay here was before uh, i've changed everything and the fps from this gameplay to the one after is actually very yes, loads bound. difference and i've got a bit of an explanation to you guys as to why i think oh, this is so what i think is what's happening here i think because of the cpu calling before it was actually bottlenecking the performance of the graphics card so as you can see here the cpu temperature is sat at 91 degrees which is quite warm we don't really want those temperatures to be anywhere near there a and d say it's quite happy for those temperatures to sit at that but if we can have them lower that is a lot better so 91 degrees for the cpu and the average fps here was fluctuating between sort of 70 and 80. now with screen recording it does actually lower your fps by about 10 on average so when i wasn't recording it was sitting more like 90 100. so these are the sort of results i was getting before and what i'll do is i'll load another game up after and show you guys what the results are after this gameplay yes, Alright right, guys, so Lose and your fight this is, is the results with the new setup. Fight your way out of this, okay. And as you can see straight away, obviously, in Google Lab, you really can't have to pass my mind. But, look at the FPS difference here. Average, 140, 150. You got gas inbound. It's actually insane how much performance CPU cooler and moving the GPU has done. It's like, I've gained like 50, 50 so, FPS. And when I wasn't recording, it was even higher. I actually had to limit it to the uh, stream refresh rate. My refresh rate on the monitor is 165 hertz. So I've actually had to limit the FPS to that. Which before, I, I couldn't even dream of that. And CPU temperatures, sort of 79, 80. That's 10 degrees lower. And this is where I'm going back to the bottlenecking thing. I think the CPU was bottlenecking the performance of the PC because it was getting too warm. So it had to pull performance up. So cool. But now with this cooler, doesn't have to do that and the gameplay feels so much smoother and i even i mean the graphics are the same but i ran them even higher for this and the performance was still even better so the cpu cooler has made a massive difference and moving the gpu has helped loads also all i need to do is sort that fan out which i will do and that should give me even more performance but for now guys i'm just enjoying playing with this new pc setup and uh, i have a pretty good game here so i'll let you guys enjoy the rest of it All right guys, so there you have it. Having a decent CPU cooler and moving the CPU up has made quite a bit of difference really. And in the game that you can see, the performance is a lot better. So yes, having a decent CPU cooler makes a lot of difference and just having things in better places also makes a lot of difference. So yes, temperature is a massive thing to think about with these PCs and it runs a lot better now. One thing I am gonna do is um, get a fan to go in the other side, whether it's a half size one or Whatever I do, I'm going to look into that. That's going to be my next little project to sort that out. And then I'm just going to play around with the settings and see what works best for certain games. But for now, guys, I will leave it with you and I will catch you in the next video.